Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be showcasing my YSC set. And if you don't know what that is, that is the UZ Space Company. Uh, I made a little set of builds that I think is really cool. And uh, let's get to it. Let's show you what I have built. So I put them all in a file here. So YSC. So all of this is my like basically my space tech really. Um, so the main build here is the YSC Endeavor which is basically a deep space Voyager, like space station. It's it's really cool, watch this. So let's spawn it in. So you can see this thing is very, very detailed. It has the gyro stabilization system. So basically it stays perfectly still in space. And to do that, I use gyros and speed sensors. Uh, you can see that like it's got a cool ring, like a massive gyro ring, which is just like really neat. Just looks like something out of a movie. I got the solar panels, which I use a texture to do that, an orange texture and a black decal on the back. Get a real nice close look at this thing. So yeah, it's basically like my own space station. And you can already tell that I've based this off like human technology. You know, what we're actually capable of. If we had the time, well, we do have the time and resources, but we, you know, if we actually funded space flight and stuff, we'd have something like this guaranteed. But yeah, so it's human technology. So this is the Endeavor. So this is the main uh, main capital mother ship, you could call it. So it's got the thrusters on, which I what I love about this is when you propel like forward. So there we go. Let's go to like a hundred miles per hour. It just stays at that speed, so you can just sit back, relax, and go on your space voyage, which is awesome. And you can go at pretty much any speed. You just need to make sure you counteract the uh, the deceleration when you get to a planet. So say if I wanted to go to Dune, let's do a little bit of a maneuver here. Just turn it around. There we go. We should be on the course of Dune now. And uh, you know what? Let's just gun it. Let's go. Let's go all the way to Dune. So let's see how fast we can actually go as fast as I want, really. There's no limits to this space flight, space voyage. But yeah, so I do have reverse thrusters, which I can activate now, which will slow me down. But I think the coolest thing to do is like this really neat maneuver. So what I'm going to do is turn the ship 180 upside down and then actually flip it over like this. So what we're trying to do here is get the thrusters facing the, the way we're going and then boom, deceleration. Look at that. It'll take a few seconds. Wow. <laughs> it's like a movie, right? It's so cool. And there we go. We have come to a stop just over the planet Dune. Now, you may notice these little claws on the, uh, the modules here. Those claws are for docking. Now, I've already done space docking with a friend, Soul Reaper. But uh, I've really like spent this entire week building different modules for different purposes. And yeah, so let's just pull out all the toys. Okay, so the first module we have is the YSC landing module. So this is basically based off a lunar lander. And uh, yeah, so all of the uh, modules have this RCS system on. So it just, you know, keeps me stable. All the gyros are keeping me like perfectly still in space, which is good. And then I have my little deployment thing, which is what like what you actually need to connect to the, the claw here. And you can see that little distance sensor in the claw. So what that is, it will detect when I'm close enough to um, to the, you know, inside the claw. And then it will clamp on. And there's also a distance sensor on the actual module as well. Because that distance sensor turns off all the gyros. We don't want the gyros or any of the stabilization happening whilst we're docked onto the ship because that will just throw me off course when I'm trying to propel forward. So yeah, a little bit of logic, but here we go. Let's try this docking. Can we do this first time? Yes, we probably can. Here we go. Just gotta ram it in there just a little. Oh! <laughs> okay, yeah. So you need to be perfectly level. Oops. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is... There we go. Repair. Try this again. So yeah, try not to be on an angle. It's probably the, the way I have those like rocket thrusters in the way, but uh, it still works. I've tried this many times. Like this entire set, the YSC set, it's like took me a week to do. And I've had some help 
um, from my community. Shout out to a uh, player called VacXT who's helped me on these modules. Okay, can we get this? Oh my god, no. What's happening? Okay, here we go. Come on. It's so bizarre because you actually like need to use the camera and look around here. Like you need to get the angle perfectly right. I think that's good enough. Want to clamp? There we go. Okay, so successful. We are now clamped on to the Endeavor. And yeah, so that's the first module. Pretty cool indeed. And uh, let's show you the module itself in action. So what I need to do is go back to the Endeavor. Release the, uh, release the module. There we go. All right, get back into the module. And then let's show you the actual module in action. So excited to show you this, guys. So here we go. We want to try and um, be above the planet, like more in the middle. Because the altitude sensors are a bit goofy um, when it comes to planets, at least. Anywhere else, they're fine. But when it comes to planets, they, uh, they're they not always the same every time. I want to try to be dead center when you enter the planet. But watch this, guys. I actually have a working decouple ring. Three, two, one. There you go. We are decoupled from the module. So now this is auto landing. So there we go. We hit atmosphere. The lander turned around. Okay. All right. So any second now, uh, the altitude will trigger the thrusters. Oh, here we go. We're pretty much dead center in the planet. We're, we're drifting slightly. Let's hope I don't land in a tree here. <laughs> wow, this is perfect. No hands on the controller. Letting it do it, like letting it do its thing. All we do is just sit back, relax, and gently we are down on the planet. There we go. And the solar panel, the solar panels deploy. Look at that. Well, that's the landing module. We have a few more modules to go through. So let's head back into space. You can actually take off in this thing again. However, once you're in space, you have no RCS. There's no controls. You're just drifting. So I actually made a more advanced module that can actually do everything once you get back into space and you can dock back onto the Endeavor. Where is the Endeavor? It is somewhere around here. So this is the YSC Ares 1. So here's the Ares. We just need to try and spot where the Endeavor is. Somewhere around here. Just being a bit blind right now. Yeah, so this is a rocket module designed for landing and reuse. Let me just see if I can find the Endeavor. Hmm. No, we're way off now. Oh, I see it. I see it's below me. <laughs> I wish there was like a, a beacon, you know? Okay, it, it is below me. It's just not rendering in. Let's just slowly go here. Ah, uh, there it is. A little white speck. Okay, we have made it to the Endeavor with the Ares. So let's try and slow down here. So there, yeah. So it's perfectly still. Here's my connection, my docking mod. And same as last time, we just line ourselves up. And just try and uh, dock the bad boy. Yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Like, maybe I'll snap this claw, but hopefully we don't. Ooh, actually, it's the wrong way around because the thruster is a bit long. It's actually colliding with the ring there. Can we do this first time? Straighten out. Straighten out, please. There we go. Oh, there you go. Perfect connection. We are now docked to the Ares. All right, let's show you some other modules really quick. Let's just get all the modules out of the way. So this one was, wasn't was actually made by me. The RCS system was, but this one was by the player that I mentioned before. So this is a drill module. So it's basically designed for drilling crystals in whole room. I'll show you how that works really quick. You got this drill, got the landing like legs here. And yeah, it's just it's just a cool module. So we can, uh, we can test that out. It's got the docking arm. So same as last time, all of the modules use pretty much the 
the same system. So there's the drilling mod. This one's one of my favorites. This is the weapons mod. So if I wanted to weaponize the Endeavor, I just put the weapon mod on. So let's try and get it docked to the top here. Come on. There we go. We're docked. And I can control the turret. So, you know, I, lo I just love these large cannons with the new aim assist, especially in space. They're like snipers. They're so good in space. There you go. Goodbye, drill module. We don't need you. <laughs> yeah, so there's our weapons mod. Oh, we have a bit of recoil from that, though. So the Endeavor is now moving. Let's try and stop that. This one is a pretty good mod. So if I wanted to protect the Endeavor, this is the shield mod. So we put the shield mod on. Once we dock the shield mod on, let's try and get this. We're drifting a little bit. Endeavor, please don't drift. There we go. Once it's on, it'll activate the shield. And then we can basically protect the side of the ship there. So pretty cool. If you wanted to go on the defensive, it's a little bit more futuristic tech, but you know, still cool. The only problem is this, uh, because it's a separate build, um, you, you know, you can't shoot through the shield. <laughs> so I'm only limited to shoot from this side now. And I think that's pretty much everything for the mods. I couldn't think of anything else, really. I mean, I can actually. There's other mods I want to build in the future. Like, I want a mod to be able to deploy, like, a dune buggy or something on the planet. That would be so cool. But let's show you the vehicles. So here is the shuttle, which I used on top of the 747 video. So this is the one on top. It's just upgraded with the RCS system. So we can dock this to the ship now. So pretty cool if I wanted a standard generic shuttle on the uh, Endeavor. But I actually wanted a huge upgrade from the original shuttle. So I built the Commodore. So this is my own design, inspired a little bit from the uh, Interstellar movie, the shuttle they use on there. But on this one is cool because it uh, actually has passenger seats for Chirpos. I wish I could actually pick up Chirpos in this thing, but it has passenger seats for some Chirpo astronauts and landing gear which is nice. So let's dock this one onto the Endeavor. All right, we're actually drifting a little bit now. Uh-oh. It's actually really difficult to dock upside down. So what I'm going to do is rotate the ship. And you can see how, like, if you had a massive mothership, you could have as many docking modules as you wanted. Like, you could potentially have, like, 12 of these. I mean, if you wanted to use complexity mod and just go for a full-out fleet, that would be awesome. Let's try and eyeball this. And then once we get everything docked, let's go on a few missions. Oh, this looks good, guys. This looks good. Come on. Yes, the Commodore is docked. Okay, so this is our... Uh our mods in place today so let's try and get in the right seat so many seats now our first deep space voyage is to micro terra let's do it let's go all right three two one activate thrusters ignite let's try and get a hundred miles per hour going here maybe more if we need now if you want to get this right and do this yourself i do recommend like putting the strength down a little bit on the hinges the claws because if they're 100 percent strength they can be so rigid that they just snap and the collisions break. So if you give a tiny bit of looseness to them, I think my strength is at 70. It just, uh, it's a tiny bit of flex that kind of doesn't break, which is good. All right, let's go a little faster. This is true deep space exploration. And then after we do this mission, guys, and I showcase the capabilities of the Commodore and the Ares. Oh, we're going pretty fast to Migratera. Let's start decelerating. Okay, come on, come on. We might overshoot this. We're probably going to overshoot this. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Eee! Oh my god. We're going still 200 miles per hour. Okay, we're slowing down slowly. Okay, I can hear the bit of collisions going on. That's not good. Oh, something broke. I don't know what it was. Oh, it was the claw on the Commodore. Oh, it's not perfect, but it's better than magnets. I think magnets, doing this with magnets is so lame. All right, we are here. We're just overshot micro terror but this is fine let's uh undock the aries first just want to kind of yaw out the way to just give it a little bit of space there we go let's get into the aries all right let's enter planet bit of acceleration towards micro terror again try and aim for the middle of the planet as soon as i hit atmosphere i uh need to trigger the landing mode so this one is not like the uh landing module this one you actually need to trigger but as soon as you press it you're good to go we'll start doing everything it's a little clangy because of the landing gear. You'll see in a minute. Here we go. Okay, I'll activate the uh, the landing. So we'll stabilize out. No, I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to manually assist this because, oh, we're coming in so fast. Ah! 
Oh no! We broke it. Okay, well, let me try and recreate that better. This is supposed to be for Dune, but here's the landing gear. There you go. So what it's supposed to do, activate the thruster, land. I want to show you guys that better, actually. Let's just try and get that out the way. I think the landing gear system is on. So like this, it's supposed to slow the, uh, yeah, slow the rocket down and then automatically do the landing. Any seconds to slow. These are timed. Come on, landing gear. Come on. There you go. Oh, that's actually so clean. Oh, and there you go. Can be a little glitchy, but... <laughs> That's the Ares. And the reason why this one's good is because unlike the landing mod, I can actually get back into space and control everything and hook back up to the Endeavor. So let's go back to the Endeavor to show off the Commodore. Where is the Endeavor? Oh, I see it. Oh, we're going to shoot right past it. You know what? It's fine. <laughs> okay, so let's decouple the Commodore. Nice. There we go. Get into the Commodore and let's enter atmosphere with this one. So this is a different approach to transport and landing. Obviously, it's designed like a shuttle, so I need to find a landing spot, like a runway. And not many options on Microterra. <laughs> it's a pretty small planet. I mean, there's a few flat areas. Okay, I think I see one. Okay, get the land gear out. Land gear is out. Okay, this is a nice flat area. And then obviously, there we go. Mission successful. Commodore has landed. So that is basically all the vehicles and modules for my uh, UZ Space Company. So all my human inspired technology. Let's get back into space. Because the last thing I want to show is pretty cool. Okay, so you notice how my character is in this cool astronaut like set. That's basically because I have built this thing. A space pack. This is so cool. It's all stabilized, all functioning. And yeah, so cool. I think this is the Endeavor. Is that the Endeavor? Yeah, no. Is it? No, that's just a rock. That's an asteroid. Oh, there it is. Just a standard astronaut jetpack like they use in the movies. This one, unfortunately, cannot dock. But I think it's just cool to have anyway in the set. And here we are, back to the Endeavor. Well, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my little showcase of what I've been building all week. Uh, I've just been building this in my free time with the community in my Discord. If you do want to catch me there and uh, hang out with me in the VCs, definitely join the Discord. The link will be down below. And if you have any more ideas, what like new modules I can build or anything I could add on to the to this ship, definitely leave them down below. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.